Hello, everybody. Uh, well, probably you may be wondering why isn't Mark around this time? Well, uh, Senor Mark was uh, busy today, couldn't uh, join us to do this exciting episode where, well, aside of me, Leandro, your amigo, Senor Performo, you may be seeing another new face here if you are watching us, if you are listening. I have here our amigo Federico Toledo uh, reporting directly from Uruguay. Amigo Federico, how are you? We're fine. Thank you for having me here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be sharing this space with you. And probably Mark is uh, getting ready for the trip mm -hmm. in a few days, right? He's coming here. Uh, I should say spoiler alert. <laughs> but um, yeah, everybody, uh, the, the point is that Federico is coming today. He's uh, kind of our guest of honor in this episode. Yes, he's going to be talking a little bit about the surprises and awesome things that are coming soon here in the performance testing world. Um, and Mark is involved. Our amigo Henrik is involved as well and many of these surprises. But, but enough with the spoiler alert. So, amigo, I know there are two big events that are coming and going to be happening soon. Uh, before we dive in details into them, which ones are them? Would you mind uh, mentioning them? Sure. The first one is the Whopper, the Workshop on Performance and Reliability, which is going to be the 29th edition. So it's something Whoa. that has been done for, for a while already, right? And then we also will have the, um, the Quality Sense Conference, which is the first edition ever, and it's happening here both things in Uruguay. And actually the Whopper, something special about it, is that it's going, to, it's going to be the first time in Latin America. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So enough of spoilers. <clears throat> Let's start uh, dissecting each one of them because some of our audience, probably perfect listeners, are extremely familiar with the Whopper. But some newcomers may not know very well what it is or what is the deal with it. So would you mind sharing some descriptions, what's uh, special about the Whopper? Uh, to me, in my silly imagination, always made me thought of a hamburger, but um, I don't think it goes over there, right? <laughs> no, not exactly. Uh, you know, I started uh, doing performance testing in 2005, and I remember having this idea of the Whopper as the place where 20, 25 people get together in order to discuss the, ten, the, the, the trends and the new technologies around performance. And, you know, it was like a, this exceptional conference that I was really looking forward. And in 2019, I had the chance to participate in France, in Marseille, uh, in the Neotis uh, offices. And uh, it was amazing. The, the dynamic, it, it's different to any other conference I've ever uh, attended. Because the idea is that it's more like a workshop, not a traditional conference with, with talks and, 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 and an audience listening to the, the one speaking, right? It's more like a place where you share your experience report, as they call it, uh, where you share something that you've been trying in the performance and reliability field, of course, um, something that you tried and you failed, maybe, or some questions or something like that associated with the theme of this specific uh, year. This year is iterative performance testing. This is the theme of the, the, the workshop uh, this, this time. And so all the experience reports are related to that uh, particular topic. And there is a specific dynamic. Paul Holland is the one that typically um, moderates the conversation. He uses uh, different cards with different colors. He, he called it the key card uh, dynamic, where he is uh, paying attention to everyone to see who, whose turn is to talk. So you have the presenter sharing the ideas, the questions, or whatever. And then if you have a, a comment, you present the, let's say, the, the green card, right? You present the green card and polls. What, what he does is try to identify a good moment to say, okay, let's pause here and give the, the uh, let, let the, the person with the green card uh, 
say the question or the comment, right? But if you have a comment that only makes sense to, to, to say it at that particular moment, you present the red card, right? So Paul also takes that into consideration and try to moderate the flow of the conversation in order to have everyone participating and not having one person like uh, taking all the, 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 the conversation for himself, for himself or herself. Right? Herself, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's amazing about it. Uh, you feel that you have uh, your space to speak uh, as everyone else. So it's, it's uh, a whole lot that you just unpacked there. Because on one hand, I mean, like, it's not with an audience. That's something that uh, that surprises me a little bit uh, with people coming from all over the world who have their hands on the strings of performance. And uh, uh, are we wearing robes and hold, holding candles Is it in a dark room? Sounds a little bit uh, Illuminati-like or... <laughs> no, no, no. That, uh, it's <laughs> no, more... But like a regular <laughs> <laughs> sounds more like a campfire talk for everyone yeah and so something really interesting that you're mentioning it's not with an audience so i'm guessing there are no ppts or presentations or slides it's not a regular talk right do we have like a duration per person or how how does it flow i mean you explain the cards but how is that yeah. There, there, there could be a presentation. Actually, there's going to be a monitor or something in order to project uh, your material. If you want to share, I don't know, graphics or reports or, or something like that. Uh, the one, the, the, that time when I participated, most of the speakers used uh, some graphic resource in order to support their presentation. Um, what other question? Which other question you said? Um, no, that it was uh, more like a conversation, right? Uh, very well moderated with the cards that you mentioned, and where the people can. I don't know. It's interesting because you will have people that are very well versed from all over the world. We are having people from all, all over the world, right? Yeah, yeah. Many, many times, many people from Latin America. Uh, some people from Europe, particularly from France and from Spain, and then from Canada and the and, and United States. The United States. Wow, it's going to be a really international pack there. So uh, yeah. really having everyone from all over the world and bringing their knowledge, their perspectives on some of these situations, as you mentioned, it's a how to say, uh, a, a case study from a real life event where that that description, like, and I like a lot the topic, like more being iterative or more, um, you, you, you know, I have this uh, constant rant about performance testing, not being load testing. Mm -hmm. And I think that this topic also will be able to push a little bit like, yeah, everyone understand that it's not only about load and being iterative. It's uh, it switches a lot the the mindset, right? Yeah, absolutely. There, are, uh, I, I know some. I, I've spoken with some of the participants beforehand, and I know some of the topics that are proposed in the, in the experience reports. There are people sharing ideas uh, around. Uh, for example, Kubernetes and microservices and how to uh, take care of the performance of this type of systems. And even in a methodology where you release every day or at least every week, which is not the traditional load testing uh, where you prepare everything for a big release or something like that in a water polish, as you typically say, <laughs> way, right? Yeah, it's a, a, a total different mindset. And I really like that we are embracing and going to be analyzing. I very much look forward to what I may be able to learn, to understand from all these uh, gurus and masters of the universe of performance who yeah, will be bringing all of the knowledge, all of their perspectives. And it is, it is interesting because 
how did this end up happening in Uruguay? Do you mind sharing quickly? I mean, this is very serendipitous, so yeah, probably not. <laughs> absolutely, because uh, one, well, uh, I know I, I know Eric uh, Prowler for I, I think it was in 2016, the first time we met in a wow. meetup, and then I met him again at the Whopper in France. And when I, I, I as you know, I spent three years living in Berkeley in mm -hmm. the the Bay Area in California, and Eric also lives in the area. So we met a couple of times. And this year, before I moved back to Uruguay, I asked him, uh, when is it going to happen again, the Whopper, uh, now that COVID is allowing us to, to do in-person conferences again? Because this conference, is only, it only makes sense to have it in person, right? It's not yeah. something that you can keep the magic online, right? So he said, yeah, actually, we could do it this year or next year again. Um, we need a, a company that help us with specific things to host, to host the event. So I asked, is it possible to have it here in Uruguay? Do you think it makes sense? Do you think people would be willing to travel all the way down here? Uh, and we started to get some feedback from you, from Mark from other thought leaders around the performance testing field. And we thought that it was a good idea. And now it's happening next week. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I remember when you mentioned like, uh, it's the, what do you think it's going to happen? And it was a while ago. And when you just said this next week, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I can barely process that. So, uh, that's an important one for anyone listening to this episode a little bit late or in the future. Uh, when is the conference going to happen? What are the dates? The conference is uh, in 2022, December 6 to 8. So it's from next Tuesday to next uh, Thursday. Thursday. Okay. That is uh, for the Whopper conference, everyone. Stay tuned because I'm almost sure what, what comes out of this event? What, what can people look forward or look for, uh, from the Whopper? As we said, there is no, no audience, uh, here is a workshop. And, um, in, in some cases, uh, there is like a blog post or as you and Mark are going to be here, probably there could be a <laughs> podcast episode or something like that. Um, because again, for me, uh, anyone interested in performance testing, I will recommend to pay attention to the next Whopper and to try to apply. You can share, uh, you don't need 20 years of experience in performance testing in order to try to participate. You have to just share what you have to, what, what you have learned in the last year, let's say what you are trying, the, the tools that you are using, the, different things that you're trying or that you are learning and you, you send your experience report and then you have someone following up with you in order to see if you are going to be invited to the next Whopper. So I will really recommend uh, to try to participate in one of these because it's an, an amazing experience where you can learn a lot. Yeah, now that you mentioned it will be a very good idea that uh, provides us an after show or a wrap up, ramp down, I don't know, uh, on what was discussed. Because I think that having or sharing with the people some of the knowledge and some of the things that we may get out of it, it's going to be uh, priceless, completely um, a treasure chest there. And well, not to just dive only into the Whopper. I know we have more... Um, events happening there. What's what's the second one? Can you tell us a little bit about? Yeah, you know, what, what happened it, it was that we were having around 20, 25 people from different places coming here, top leaders with a lot of knowledge to participate in the Whopper. So we said, we need to do something else in order to contribute to the local community. That was the initial motivation to come up with the idea of the Quality Sense Conference. 
that is happening next week on Friday 9th, December 9th. Because in this way, we, we have the possibility to ask uh, the Whopper participants to give a traditional talk or to participate in a panel or something that uh, th they can contribute their knowledge to the local community. We are also going to stream the, through YouTube uh, the, the, the different talks, but there are around um, 15 sessions, keynotes, talks, panels with uh, discussions around performance testing, um, uh, test automation. It's not, it's, this one is not specific for performance. There are QA many in general. Yeah, there are, there are many talks around performance because, you know, many of the participants of the Whopper, they are experts on performance, so they are giving talks about performance. But, uh, for example, Eric Proveler is going to give a talk uh, about uh, how to form uh, leaders in software testing, which is a very interesting topic for everyone. Uh, Henrik is going to tell us about open telemetry. Mm. Uh, you and Mark are going to talk about performance in the modern world, right? Mark is <laughs> going to, to talk more about metrics and different things that we should pay attention to when we do performance testing. And what else? Almudena Vivanco from Spain, she's going to talk about chaos engineering, which is a very cool uh, topic that uh, I don't know anyone, uh, but the guys from Netflix is doing this sort of practice. So I know that you have, uh, in K6, share something related to that. But um, yeah, it's not a, a a practice that everyone is doing. So I'm really interested to interested in, in listening to, the, to that talk. And there are many, many things. Even we are going to have a panel discussing how the how how we envision the future of work with these changes thanks to the pandemic and to everything happening. We which I, I think is going to be very, very interesting. It's, well, first of all, uh, quality sense. I, I have heard that before. Why does yeah, it ring yeah. a bell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we named the, the conference after the podcast. So okay. my, my podcast is Quality Sense Podcast. So we decided to use the same brand, the same, uh, to follow the same idea for the podcast, but make it a conference. And actually, you will see in the in the conference that there will be many conversations because in my podcast I typically interview people uh, around, uh, about um, different topics around quality, and this is going to be happening also in the conference. Great, and well, when when <laughs> it's funny like adding quality, you're you're following the Batman. Uh, uh, naming book, <laughs> everything quality sense, and then it's going to be something after. And it's really cool. And what made you like, finally, because there, there were other opportunities or collaborations, what um, was like the, aha, we need to do this um, conference. I know you mentioned that you were going to have more people from outside here, but were, were there any other let's say, stars aligning to allow this to happen? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've been uh, always trying to generate spaces for people to connect, to learn, to grow. If I see my, my, my personal, my professional career was uh, the, the influence that different conferences had on my professional career was huge. So I want to provide the same for other people. I'm sure that is, this conference is going to have a, a huge impact in, in many people around here, the ones who can come and, and visit the conference in person, or the ones who can join us online and watch the, the, the recordings. But I really believe that conferences are not only about the content, because you can learn that content watching the videos on YouTube, but also in, in, the, in the conference in person, you can connect with other people, share experiences, learn if someone else ha, 
the same problem that you are trying to solve and discuss how they, the, the, the different approaches that everyone is taking about it. So, and, and this serendipity thing that you mentioned before, right? Uh, conferences is all about that. I think it's, uh, yeah, I, I, I use a serendipitous word here and there, but I think that conferences are boiling pots of opportunity and serendipity because as you will mention, you don't only learn a lot of, well, knowledge about uh, QA, IT or whatever is a topic for the conference, but yeah. you get to meet people, you get to interact both with the speakers, with the people kind of bringing the knowledge. And if you are a starter, you can mingle with peers and see, hey, what is, uh, what, what are you up to? Who knows, maybe one of those um, people that also were just starting as you are just uh, joining a company will tell you, hey, in this company, this is really cool here. Why don't you come? We learn a lot or vice versa, as well as opportunities, friendships. I mean, you and I, I can tell as well, because of some of those conferences, we were already kind of virtual friends <laughs> from the beginning. But I think the, the conferences and in-person part really strengthens the um, links between people and helps to bring things like this. Because as you say, if you haven't met Eric in the past, this wouldn't be happening, right? Correct. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it brings, it, it opens doors that you never imagine. Yeah, it's, it's huge. And well, going back to a little detail that you mentioned, uh, this is going to be streamed for the people that won't be able to attend, for the people that want to attend. What are the details? I know that you mentioned yeah. this right after the Whopper on Friday the 9th yeah. of December Basically, 2022 for people listening. <laughs> Basically, you have to re register in qualitysenseconf.com. You will receive uh, a link to the, the channel where... The, all the, the, the talks are going to be streamed. But pay attention to this. We have four different channels because there are going to be two different tracks that are going to be simultaneously translated. Okay. So be able to listen to the talks in Spanish, uh, translated to English, and the talks in English translated to Spanish. So every speaker Ha, has uh, the chance to speak in their preferred language and every attendee can listen in their preferred language. So this is the way I think all the conference all, all the conferences should be. But uh, as, as we know, when we go to some other places, we have to adapt and try to do our best speaking in English this time. Uh, we will be able to speak in Spanish and also get our message uh, through all the, uh, reach all the people also listening in English as well, right? That's awesome. And because especially first, everyone wanting to go, I mean, getting to Uruguay is uh, not the easiest for most of the world, literally. And mm -hmm. as well, well, how much is it to attend virtually or in person? How much? Free. Yeah, what's the cost? No <laughs> way. <laughs> gratis. <Yeah>. Oh my God. Absolutely <laughs> gratis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, uh, for, for, for us, this is the way to make it accessible for, for everyone. When we talk about accessibility, we talk about everyone should be able to attend the, the conference and, under, uh, and understand what is happening in their language and also be able to uh, access to it for free for both cases, in person or uh, online. So you will be able to uh, get uh, the chance to, to listen to all these people talking and uh, uh, all the things that they are going to share uh, without spending any money. That's awesome because as well on some of the areas of the world that hopefully we'll be watching and we'll be attending the talks and all the uh, panels and events happening at the conference. It's important that, well, they will be able to freely access it, freely rewatch it. Uh, I kind of understood that there's going to be recordings yep. and to not to have 
not only the language barrier, but the money monetary barrier. It's great that you are um, doing this in, in such an open manner and helping uh, the world uh, attitude. I, I simply love it. I know that uh, that's a, pil a pillar, um, a foundation of Abstracta, one of the things. Uh, for the people listening, I was at uh, Abstracta's offices a few months before, and I could tell this attitude, this, the soul of the company is to give back and help and empower the people. I, I, I saw it, it's just amazing, and I expect pretty much the same to be seen at the conference. I'm super excited, I'm really thrilled to see what is going to happen over there. And well, to start to ramp down, because I know I'm not supposed to hold you too long, Amigo Fede, you're busy preparing a, 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 not one, but two conferences. Uh, so for the ramp down, what would you like to say to the people uh, listening and watching this episode right now? I love to uh, I love to have you in the in the conference. If you have the chance, if you are around here, <laughs> I know it's far and it's only a week from now. But if you have the chance, uh, come here. Uh, tell me, hey, I listened to the episode with Leandro, <laughs> uh, and and we can we can talk. I, I love that that. But if you don't have the chance to attend in person, also try to watch the talks, check the site, check the agenda with all the all the different talks and the people, all the speakers, and try to get the best out of the, of the conference. And next time, uh, let's plan in, in, in advance to, to try to attend Whopper or, or the next Quality Sense conference so, so that you also have the chance to, to, to enjoy it. I like that menace, like it, this is the first, but get ready for the next ones, <laughs> next conferences for Quality Sense. This is awesome, Amigo Fede. It's great that, uh, again, that you are having this initiative, having this uh, goodwill towards the world and the people to learn about performance in QA. But uh, I very much look forward to it. Everyone watching, I highly recommend as uh, the Amigo Fede already mentioned, register, attend to the conference, stay tuned because we will be sharing a lot of content around what will happen over the following days. And well, Amigo Fede, thank you very much for coming and sharing all these awesome situations that are coming that we will be participating on. Thank you for having me and I'm looking forward to shake your hand here. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's gonna be shake, hug and everyone will be Happy together. <laughs> I so very much look forward to Amigo Fede. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Stay tuned. Remember, uh, Whopper and Quality Sense Conference coming next week. And Perfites is going to be around. We, you have three uh, Perfites members here, uh, your server, uh, not pun intended. <laughs> um, um, Senor Mark Tomlinson and Senor Henry Grex will be there as well. So we will be streaming and having lots of fun. So see you soon. Take care. Amigo Fede, adios. Adios. And adios, adios everyone. Perfect. Out.